would say probably about 30 miles an hour at this point. The car does seem to have more than one person inside of it. We did see at least a passenger in the front seat. You see them kind of moving a little bit slow, making these weird swerves out there. But officers from LAPD still making their way, getting a little bit closer to the to LAPD, working their way closer to the car right now. No, Susie, I'm sorry. We don't know what the original want was. Uh, yet you can see that LAPD cruiser really working his way up there. They, you know, they have been cleared to pit this vehicle. Uh, so you can see the driver making those evasive moves out there. Whenever that LAPD cruiser gets a little bit closer, there we go, making another turn right there. Uh, that I believe that we're turning on to Santa Fe, and you can see the vehicle basically trying to avoid being pitted making these kind of moves out here back and forth. But these slow speeds, this would be the perfect setup. You can see that car keeping making those moves, trying to do basically taunting that officer, uh, that LAPD officer. He might not have to pit him. This guy might spin out on his own at these slow speeds. But uh, Newton Division, LAPD, in pursuit. We're in the Vernon area right now and probably going to be seeing this, uh, this chase coming to an end here very shortly. Oop, oop, oop. They're, they're unsuccessful. Unsuccessful. And you saw the... And you, oh, yeah, definitely. They, they want to bring this to an end. You know, they're, I'm, I'm unclear on the whole thing, why the car is moving so slow. It, right when we saw it, right before we saw it, uh, you know, we got the camera on it before we went live. The vehicle was moving. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, a lot of Bondo and a lot of plastic. That's what I just saw come off of that Honda. And the LAPD cruiser just kind of staying behind it. Looks like we're into a parking area right here. LAPD right behind it there, dragging that plastic bumper. There's the helicopter overhead. Uh, LAPD really want to bring this thing to an end. Uh, apparently, they're hearing that it's a dead end or it's just a boxed-in area. So it's, they're going to have to either make a very drastic move or it's just going to come into an end. Uh, approaching Bud Long is the last area that we heard. Maybe this has got an out. They're saying that there's no place for this to go, even if he's working his way out, trying to work his way, but it's going to bottleneck, but no place for him to go. Oh, oh, there goes the front bumper. Two gates. Taking out two gates. Look at that. Joe, oh, talking about just uh, two gates. There is a way out, Jeff. And you know, but it, it's not going to—it's not going to keep this up for long. I can tell you that. That officer right there. There we go. Another pit. Another pit. More bro. Well, there we go. There we go. That's going to be bringing it to an end. Oh, but uh, crazy end right there. We're on Santa Fe in the city of Vernon. Uh, we know that there was somebody in the passenger seat. That car did—it did stop. But we saw that uh, we saw this person continually try to get away. To the two gates. Haven't seen that ever. Uh, why I'm saying that is this car might put it into reverse. Might still try to get away. Not really sure what's going to happen here. These officers from LAPD, they are not playing. Uh, you, the, nobody, uh, all those officers have their weapons drawn. They are looking at this vehicle. Very serious, tense situation right now. But uh, hopefully the uh, driver and the passenger are just going to be getting out of this. You know, I'd really like to know what that original want was, seeing how dangerous this person has been and how d determined he's been to get away. Officers from LAPD, though, there we go. Driver side, our passenger side opening up. you got a female getting out right there, hands up. Uh, but uh, the driver's still in that car, not sure if that car is running. Yes. 
that is the driver right there, Susie. And uh, getting out of the vehicle seems a little upset that he's uh, going into custody. I, 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 I'm shocked that he would be. Uh, what, what else? How else was that going to end? I have never seen a car go through a fence like that. It almost looked like a movie stunt. I would have thought for sure the, the fencing would have stopped that car. But obviously, yeah, we know now it did not. Uh, the officers, though, they still have their weapons trained on the vehicle. The windows are not tinted, so my guess is perhaps they think they're there or see a third person inside the car. The driver now out, the front passenger out as well. But these officers, we haven't seen any kind of relaxed mood yet, as of yet. Possibly one person still inside that car. The uh, two people, uh, the male driver, female passenger from the front of the car, laying out there on the road, as we understand it, that's Santa Fe out here in the city of Vernon. Uh, but the officers still uh, have their weapons pointed at the car, so I'm wondering if there's somebody in that back seat. It was. It's a uh, very industrial building. I can tell you that. The uh, I wanted to kind of get a little bit wider here, trying to figure out which way they made that turn. They came off of this street here. Those fences should still be out in the roadway there. Uh, I'm on the wrong street right now. I'm being told. So, and uh, it, oh, it was this way. Apparently, it was this way. Oh, it's right there. The cars are actually driving around it right there. So, hang on. So. There you go. this two days ago, huh? <laughs> yeah. Where is, where, where did it end? Or non-chase. 
Uh, tracking. Well, they did or didn't? Yeah. Nobody knows. Oh, uh, all right. I'm just going to write, going to be late. Hey, you guys on Facebook, I'm glad you were watching. I never brag, and it's kind of like a duopoly and stuff, so you'll probably see it on some other stations. But I just got to say that uh, we were the only ones here. Woo! <laughs> so anyway, man, and the only reason I say that was because that was pretty nifty. Uh, you know, plowing through those gates right there. I, you know, if you, I, I don't know if they're going to kill me on the on the web right now, but you can see the workers out here moving the stuff around. And <laughs> I will. And uh, our uh, our assignment desk working diligently on the phones, gathering information that you know is tough to get because I couldn't figure it out. Stolen vehicle. That's what it was, was a stolen vehicle. Uh, these guys are out here with their forklifts, bringing their fence back onto their property and clearing the road. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that was, uh, that, was, that was loopy, man. I had not seen that before. And if you would have asked me, I would have said that car would have got stuck. But at any rate, pursuit's over. Thanks for watching. And uh, love the love. T hope to chat with you guys soon.